Okay, so I'll tell you today how to uh, configure Oracle database. Now, in iReport, if you have to configure the Oracle database, uh, as I told you, this is the database icon that needs to be uh, clicked. And here you can see empty database and sample database. So these are the different database that you can configure. Now you can configure as many databases as you want and you just have to do new and then uh, uh, or you can modify or delete. Now sample database HSQL DB test. This database comes along with iReport. So this is an inbuilt database which you can use and uh, I think we might use uh, to create reports just to show sample that when you go in an organization they will definitely have their own database and if you have to map yours to theirs then you this is the screen or this is the icon that you have to use. Now let's try to uh, I don't have Oracle uh, on my machine so let's see if you go to uh, some organization and you have to uh, map Oracle let's see how to do it. Now you click on new and you, you click on uh, database JDBC connection, click on next and you give the name over here, okay, Oracle or say test, test DB, okay, or yeah, test DB and then you have to give the driver, the driver is the Oracle driver, the Oracle JDBC driver, Oracle driver. Now you notice that this this oracle is marked in red okay you know why this is in red because the driver if you just select it says the driver class oracle jdbc driver dot oracle driver it is not in the class path okay all the others like the post gre sql my sql all this is inbuilt uh, all this is all the drivers are inbuilt the ones in black however the ones in red it is not inbuilt now in order to play that particular driver we'll have to go and put that driver in the class path you just have to google okay for jdbc 14.jar just google it uh, ojdbc14 or you can just say oracle driver uh, google oracle driver and this is the jar that comes up ojdbc14 now you go down and you just try to save it uh, save the driver, download OJDBC jar, just save it. This is the jar and I, I already saved it to my machine. This is where I've saved it on the desktop. Okay, this is the jar. Now I have to put this jar in the class path. For that, go to your Okay, go to your uh, win, uh, tools, options, and class path so you have to select the first tab these are the different tabs okay i report is the first tab when you click on i report you get a class path sub tab now you add jar and uh, go to that path right now i uh, it's already like i went on desktop and jdbc and you click on this and you open okay and click on okay and now when you try to configure let's say new JDBC database connection and then test DB. Okay, just write any name and here when you try to select the driver, see the Oracle JDBC driver, it's no more in red, it's in black. So just select that and this is the path that uh, your organization will have, the URL, JDBC URL, you can configure that. The username and the password just give anything and you can save password and you can test it it will actually let you know whether the connection has been established okay i haven't put anything because i don't have any uh, username and password that's valid all right so that's how you do it and uh, once you've done it you have to select that particular database it will come up the test db will come up over here and uh, you can select it all right, so I'll tell you uh, how to create our first report and in the next presentation.